Do you know what season you are? Maybe you were like me and back in the 80s, you got the Color Me Beautiful book, or maybe you booked a Color Me Beautiful consultant and you fell into a season and you've kind of always stuck to that. But then something recently happened where now there's subdivisions of each season. So you could be a warm version of that season or a cool version or a neutral version. And it's really confusing. So what I'm going to do is for the next few weeks, maybe even the next few months, I'm going to talk about what seasons to wear in your palette. So Are you winter? Are you summer? Are you are you autumn? Are you spring? Like we're going to talk about it and I'm going to show you how to choose colors for your Saint palette that are best for your season and that way you always know your staples. You always know what you're going to look good in. Then if you want to have fun and splurge on a fun little purple eyeshadow or a little blue eyeliner, then you know how you can kind of deviate into trends while staying in your season. Does that make sense? Anyway, we're going to discuss all the seasons today. We're going to do soft autumn, so stay right here. Do you look like any of these celebrities? They all have warm hair and warm eyes. They look probably better in gold accessories, and these are autumns. Now here I wanted to show an autumn and a spring because they are cousins and they can wear many of the same colors with just a few tweaks. You might put more peaches in with the spring. But today we are gonna do soft autumn. So you're not gonna see a lot of pumpkins and terracottas and olive greens. These are the softer version of autumn where I feel most women feel comfortable with makeup. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Spieler. I'm a professional makeup artist of 25 years and I'm so glad you're here. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of now 23 videos. I just added a new one this weekend on how to wear liquid foundation and wear it very skin-like, especially for special occasions for women who can't wear cream makeup or don't like cream makeup. So take advantage. I just found out I'm in a master class. My husband and I are in the master class. It's the one where you have, oh, you have Gordon Ramsay and you have um, Metallica and Bobby Brown who inspired me to do my own master class because I feel like she did not cater to the mature woman at all. And there is... Um, Annie Leibovitz on photography, and um, there's just, it, it's a it huge array of professionals, and you have to renew every year, and it's very costly. Then, a year ago, I ordered a masterclass by the artist Nikki, Nikki Makeup, over on Instagram, and it was about $120.00. And I thought it was for life, and I just got the notice that it expires in three weeks. So I've watched everything. I don't need to continue, but I lose all of that content um, in three weeks because it's only a one-year membership for $120. My master class, you can have it for life, and it's only $67. And once you're locked in that price, it never goes up. So get locked in. What are you waiting for? $67 for 23 videos on Mature Technique. And it's not Saint Makeup. Saint Makeup is always here on Wednesday nights on my YouTube channel. But it's really on Mature Technique. And I use all makeup under the sun, including drugstore, because I want to accommodate all budgets. Okay, today... Someone reached out to me in comments and said, could you do seasons? Could you talk about seasons with Saint? And I thought that was such a brilliant idea. I was super into seasons um, back in the 80s. I found out I was a spring. I knew I was a spring because when I wore orange, which was very popular in the 80s, I would get so many compliments. And when I wore turquoise, even today I wear turquoise, I get so many compliments. Like it really brings out my coloring and it really makes my eyes sparkle. But my favorite color to wear is black. Almost my whole wardrobe is black because I'm a professional makeup artist and that's just the wardrobe we all use to look professional, to blend in. Black doesn't show a lot of makeup if you get it all over your clothes. Um, 
but according to spring, I'm not supposed to look good in black. I think I look good in black and I get a lot of compliments on black because it's such a contrast with my lighter hair and my deeper eyes. And so it just works. But um, really, I'm supposed to look better in navy. And I love navy. The older I am, I love navy. Anyway, what I love about seasons is once you know your color, it completely changes your wardrobe. It completely changes how you look. You all of a sudden will start getting more compliments because you're just, you're wearing the colors that you're meant to wear. You're wearing the colors that don't wear you, but you wear them and, and they, you just, it brings the sparkle out, okay? So there are cousins in season. So spring and autumn are cousins. Now that doesn't mean autumn can wear spring colors and spring can wear all the autumn, but th there's a lot of interchanging there. And same with summer and winter. Okay, but today heading into some uh, fall, we're heading into autumn in just a couple days, even though it's a very hot still, we're already mentally wrapping our head around you know, decorating for fall, decorating our home, pumpkin spice latte, wearing sweaters and boots. I love fall makeup. It's one of my favorite times of year. And so I want to show you today um, what autumn looks like. And I want to start today with soft autumn. So I'm going to do my eyes very simply all, using All Saint with soft autumns. And then um, I'm just going to do my face real quick and then I'll even show you a couple blush options. I'll do two different options so you can see. Right now though, I want to show you some celebrities that fall into autumn. Autumn tends to have warmer eye colors. They tend to have warmer hair. Um, they all oftentimes have warmer skin, although I know many autumns that have more pink and freckled skin, but it, it's just, it's a warmer look. And you'll see the color palette because I'm going to show that in a minute. And then I'm going to show you some soft autumn colors because soft autumn is different from true autumn and deep autumn and all the it's they've created so many subdivisions i find it to be very confusing i like to just stick to the four seasons so we're going to do autumn today check out these next slides i'll talk a little bit about them and then um, we're going to get started okay to get started i'm going to dust my eyes real quick with our vanilla dusting powder um powder blends on powder. I'm not using um, an eye primer today because I have Lashify on and I don't want anything that could get into the Lashify. And it's just me being lazy, but you could definitely use an eye primer if you need to keep your shadows on longer. Okay, so Soft Autumns, I'm gonna keep it really neutral. A lot of you already know these colors. I'm not really choosing, you know, brand new colors that you've never seen before. You see a lot of saint artists using these colors. And the reason why is they're just tried and true. You know, I, I, I've created like eight palettes now, eight or nine palettes I've created. You can always reach out to me in colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. That's colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. And you can ask for palettes. You can uh, tell me your season and I'll send you those palettes. I don't need to send you all eight, but give me an idea of what you like. And then I can get you started on some palette colors. But what you'll notice is pretty much every single palette um, that I create, I start with Cupcake because Cupcake is just really pretty. It works on most women and it's just a nice soft matte. And so do you see how I'm just kind of put, I'm not putting it on the whole eye. I'm just kind of doing the inner eye and kind of in the crease a, real lightly and up on the brow bone. So see the difference? It's It just looks creamier and softer. And Cupcake is, um, I'm running out of space on my desk here. Cupcake is just this really pretty warm, light color. I wish we had an equivalent of it with maybe more of a cool tone, uh, but we, we don't at the moment. Anything we have cooler is a little bit deeper. 
I see some holes in the Saint collection and I wish they'd let me get in. As a 25 to 30 year artist, I wish I could come in and kind of fill in the holes where I see we are missing some important blush colors. We're missing some really important eyeshadow colors, but anyway. It is what it is. They've done a great job. I'm not knocking Saint. I absolutely love Saint, but I just wish they would let me come in and <laughs> create some new colors for them. Um, okay, so next we are going to go into Chai. Chai is this really soft, warm color right here, and I'm going to take a big fluffy brush, and um, I'm just going to go in the crease, but higher. And this is an everyday look. We're just doing an everyday soft autumn look. And I'm gonna do two different eyeliners because I wanna show you two different looks. See, and that's, that's chai. That's so pretty together. It almost looks like nothing, but yet it'll give you a very polished look to your eye. Now, if you were winter or summer, you could do Pup. Pup is cool and very pretty. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to all the seasons. But I felt autumn was the most important right now because we are coming into autumn. And a lot of women like to wear some pretty autumn shades. So this, if you are a true autumn, this is really a great pairing, these two. You can't go wrong with these two. Spring can wear these too, but honestly, I think spring needs a little bit more like peach or, I don't know, a little bit more bright tone, but this is very pretty for a soft autumn. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Philly. Philly um, in person looks more reddish than it does right here. It's very, very warm, and I want to go in with that, and let me see if I can find... A little blending brush. I don't know where my, I don't know where all of my, I have so many Saint eyeshadow brushes. I don't know where they all are. It's so crazy to me. All right, I'm gonna go in, I think with this little guy, it's like the same shape, but now watch this. I'm just gonna do the tiniest amount. Look, I'm just kind of tapping and do you watch my fingers? See how I'm kind of tapping and rolling? And then you always wanna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the outside of the eyelid. And we're gonna keep it on the outside of the eye. Like that. We don't wanna come in and get too dark in here. We're already starting, our eyeballs are already sinking into our head. So we never wanna take dark in here. It's gonna make our eyes look too deep set. We want to add a little bit of smokiness. I call this Angelina Jolie eye. That's when we just smoke all the colors, the deeper colors on the outside of the eye only. But isn't that pretty? Just right there on the outside of the eye. And then I'm going to do it on this eye too. A little filly. But I'm going to do two different eyeliners and you'll see in a minute. So pretty. Okay, do you see how just so simple, it's so neutral. I'm not really going under the eye with it. I could take a little bit on this fluffy brush and just take it under the eye, kind of in that outer corner to add that little soft smoke under the eye but not too much. Now, I don't have any makeup on yet. I don't have Demi, I don't have 3D. We're just starting with eyes, okay? Look how pretty that is. And then we can always go back with that brush we use to put the chai on. I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere, I don't know. Did I leave it sitting out? No. I have too many brushes in my brush roll and now I cannot see anything. Oh, is that? No, that's not. I don't know. 
I don't know where it is. It makes me so mad. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna take a little blending brush Now I like a little tiny bit of shimmer on the eyelid. You don't have to do shimmer on the eyelid, but I just really enjoy it. And I find that there is a color called Rome. Do you see Rome? Rome is so pretty because it's this, it's a soft gold, but very, very soft. Very, very soft. We're just doing the tiniest bit, see that? And you don't have to do this step, but I like the tiniest bit of shimmer on the center of my eyelid. I really love that, okay? And then I like Sabrina to go on the inner eye. Sabrina is one of those colors that you will have for eternity because you need so little of it. Sabrina is almost like cupcake, but it is shimmery, and I like to go right on that inner eye. It's just, it lightens up that inner eye without being disco-y. It's really pretty. I want you to look at your daughters or your grandchildren. They're real light in here. Their, their skin is tight and luminous and we lose that as we get older. So we can always put that little bit. If you have any left on your brush, you could put a tiny bit of Sabrina right there, but we don't want a frosty brow bone, but it's okay if you add that tiny bit. And I'm very happy with that eye. I think that's really, really pretty. But what I wanna do is I want to take um, I want to take Black Friday, the great eyeliner that Saint makes, and I really love it. Let me see if I can find, it would help if I had, okay, we're going to do this. Is this Sephora? I don't, yeah, this is the Sephora liner brush. Saint makes a liner brush too. I just don't see it anywhere. But I'm going to dip into Black Friday. It is kind of a, um, it's like a cream liner. So instead of coming in the pot, it comes right in this little pan. And it's really nice. And you don't need a lot. I'm just putting a little on the outside of the eye. See? Just on the outside, I'm not gonna do the whole entire eye. One, I'm wearing Lashify, and two, many women are not wanting to wear black on the whole eye, and I don't blame them. You don't need to wear black on the whole eye. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so I did the tiniest bit of black. Okay, there's two things we can do. We can go back in with our filly and I'm gonna take the filly and I'm gonna smoke it. Over the black, by smoking it over the black, it lightens the black, but it deepens the filly. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. You're getting a nice depth to your eyeliner. So you no longer look like you have a black eyeliner. But then the, the dark outer portion of my eye is richer because of that filly. Isn't that pretty? Look at the difference. This eye is just kind of thin. And this eye is smoky and dark and it just, it makes the eyes look bigger. It's just so pretty. But I wanna show you one of my favorite shadows we make. It's called Ivy League. It's this beautiful hunter green. Now hunter greens are really, really pretty for autumns, but a lot of winters can wear it too. And so with the same brush, I cleaned it off. But with the same, look at that, 
Oh, that is so pretty. And it's matte. There's no shimmer in that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the black. And now we're just going to have this really, really rich green. And it's just so pretty. You see that? I don't know which I like more. That Philly is just so dark and rich. But then I love... how that Ivy League looks. Look at that. And that's the Philly. And that's the Ivy League. And that's what I call an Angelina Jolie eye. And when I do mature women in my chair, whether it's an actress or whether it's like a mother of the bride, I always tell them, okay, we're going to do an Angelina Jolie eye. And every single solitary person, 100% of the time goes, yes, please. Because she always has this like, like from here in, right? She's very light and airbrushed nothing's heavy and then boom she goes dark and smoky on her outer eye and it just gives her the glamour and the lift okay so we got two different looks there I wanted you to see both because I wanted now I wouldn't take the Ivy League under the eye I don't want that to compete I want it to be the star up here and we have the tiniest bit of Philly under both eyes I want, I don't want to see a line under the eye. I want it to be very, very soft. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put my face and my demi on real quick, and then we're going to talk blush and lip for a uh, soft autumn. Okay, I have on a little bit of my Athens and I have a little bit of Bella, not too much because now we're going into autumn, so we don't want to look super tan. Um, and I contoured my nose because I'm kind of becoming addicted to that. But I mean, look at this eye. That is so pretty, Angelina Jolie, with that hunter green smoked in the outer corner. But then over here, it's very rich and filly. I mean, who couldn't wear that? That could even work on a winter. Um, it could work on a summer. I might go cooler than Philly on a summer. Um, and, and, you know, I'm a spring and I think it looks fantastic. So let's talk blush because I think that's that's where we can get thrown off. That's where we could take this beautiful cohesive look and we could get really thrown off by it. So I am looking for would help if I had the right amount of palettes. Now, autumn is pretty and it ends in, it ends in just not very long. I think we only have autumn through a couple more weeks, but autumn's pretty in that it's kind of a warm, sheer plum. Very pretty, very pretty, but I'm not feeling it today. Um, I don't know why, I'm just not, but Renaissance would have been great, but that was a limited edition. We're done with Renaissance. Some of you are dying for more Renaissance. All I have to say is if hopefully next year it could become a staple, like a permanent color, maybe, but I would stock up on it the minute it comes out. And August is one of those colors. August is going to go away as soon as, um, I think it's like the end of September, August is done. It was a seasonal color and people are going to be so bummed that it's gone. Um, because August is just so pretty. So let me see where is my, where's my blush? I was going to do Madrid. Where, <laughs> where is my Madrid? Is it here? Listen, y'all. Okay, that's Madrid. Here we go. You could also do plum. Plum is very flat to me. Um, and so if you did plum, I would put like a real pretty highlighter over it. Because to me, plum is maybe the tiniest bit 
flat like Frenchie. Plum and Frenchie are not my favorites, but if you layer them right, they could be pretty. But I want to do, um, I want to do Madrid. Madrid is warm. Madrid is a warm rose. I know many, many women that could wear Madrid. It's very universally flattering. And I'm going to put it on very lightly because I really want my eyes to be the star. But look how pretty that is. Very pretty. Madrid is very pretty and it works on so many women. But it's extremely pretty on springs and autumns because it's warm it's warm that said my friend carla is a winter and she looks beautiful in madrid so a lot of our colors are very universally flattering and they're also soft we don't make scary makeup we make very soft makeup you know every time i put madrid on i'm like why don't i wear this all the time this is so pretty why don't i wear this I absolutely love this color. Am I becoming a new Madrid fan? I've been with Saint almost two years and I don't think I've worn Madrid more than one time. And I think that was for a video. I love it. So Madrid is very pretty on springs, on autumns. And it goes great with the side. It's not too warm. It's a nice neutral. It's a satin. So look, I still have a beautiful sheen, but it's not the gloss formula, which can be too glossy for some women. And then I always like a tiny bit. I'm just a blush girl. I like blush on the nose. And then let's do a little on the lips. I don't think I've ever worn. I don't think I've ever worn Madrid on the lips. That's pretty. Oh my goodness. Are we are we witnessing it here? Did I just find my new favorite color? Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then peach. Our peach lip balm is also, I think, a limited edition. And once it's gone, it's gone. And I absolutely love the peach in it. Oh, wow. As much as I love nude on my cheeks and my lips, I think this is a little bit more flattering. <gasps> what? I, mm -hmm. that's it. I love it. I love the Madrid. And then, you know, if you've been with me a while, you know what else I like to do, right? What else do I like to do? I like to take a little bit of blush. And kind of add it to that outer eye. Just a little bit. It's so subtle. No one would even know it was there. But it adds the tiniest bit of the blush color very sheerly to the outer brow bone and it gives it this cohesive look it all ties in but no one would even know it was there except you saw it here okay what do we think is soft autumn and even though I have two different eyes, because they're done the same way, I could probably go out in public and absolutely would no one would know I had two different eye liners on. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so quick order of business before um, we say goodbye. When we had the Saint sale last week, I did a beautiful eye look using Shenandoah this beautiful sparkle, but I told everyone it was glass slipper. Now glass slipper is really pretty. And for some of you, that's going to be enough. It's this really sheer silver, gorgeous for summers and winters. I would not wear that on an autumn or a spring. Okay. Now here's the problem. I told everyone it was glass slippers. Glass slipper was on sale. Y'all ran and bought glass slippers. And then someone said to me that night, wait, is that glass slipper or is that Shenandoah? And I'm like, 
I got sick. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I ran up and it was Shenandoah. Okay, do you see the difference? One is a fine shimmer with a pixie dust and one is chunky glitter. Okay, now this took three or four days to come off my eyes, but that's because I had Lashify. If I didn't have Lashify, I would have just done this, splashed it off and rubbed it with a towel. It's, it's messy, but it's gorgeous. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. If you ordered glass slippers because of me and you absolutely get it and you absolutely love it, then I'm happy you got it. But if you were like, I really ordered it because I wanted this, Michelle. I wanted the chunky glitter. I'm a glitter girl. Then here's what you're going to do. You're going to email me. Look at my arm. Do you see that? Do you see my hand? Maybe you can't see it. It's so pretty though. I have glitter all over. Okay. You're going to email me at colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. Colormatchbymichelle at gmail.com. And you're going to say Shenandoah in the subject. And you're going to show me a screenshot of your order. Um, I need your order number. I need to see that you ordered glass slippers. And I need to see your address because I'm going to mail you a Shenandoah as my gift because I messed up. I felt terrible. I ordered 20 Shenandoah. I don't think there's many more glass slippers than that. But if there's more, then you might have to wait a month and I'll get you. But anyone who really wanted the Shenandoah, I got you. I I'll hook you up. I'll get you a Shenandoah and you get to keep the glass slippers. So it's a win-win, okay? When I screw up, I admit I screw up and I'm happy to rectify it because I, I want y'all to be happy because I do love, I do love Shenandoah. It's so pretty. Okay, so there you have it. So here's what I'm going to do. Because we're heading into autumn, I want to show you how to wear something on your eyes and cheeks that can feel autumn-y even if you're a different season, okay? So today I'm showing you a soft autumn that clearly a spring can wear and an autumn can wear. Next week I wanna do an autumn if you're a summer. And then the week after that, I'll come back and show you how to do an autumn eye and cheek and lip if you are a winter, okay? And then we're just gonna play this out. We're gonna do summer looks, even though it's going into fall and winter, you're still a summer. You probably have a blue-green eye, you have fair skin, you have light hair, you have ashier hair, you have cool tones, those are summer. Winter, winters have dark hair or silver hair. They look great in the color silver accessories. They have dark lashes and dark brows naturally, and they usually have dark eyes. Not always, but they have dark eyes. Um, Elizabeth Taylor was a winter, right? She looked beautiful in jewel tones. She looked washed out in summer tones. So um, you, who else? Uh, Sophia Loren is a winter, right? My friend Carla is a winter. So we're gonna play it all out. I'm gonna show you celebrities so you can identify who you look like. We're gonna talk coloring. We're gonna talk hair, eyes. We're gonna talk makeup palettes. We're gonna talk how to stock your makeup palette because I don't want you wasting your money on colors that don't look good off on your season. And when you put them on, you're like, well, wait, that looked great on Michelle, but I look terrible in this, right? So I, I wanna save you money down the line. I want you wearing colors in your season. Um, yeah, we can deviate. Yeah, we can, you know, wear different colors outside of our season as long as we add them to our seasonal color palette and then we just add a pop of a different season and it's totally fine and I hope that makes sense, okay? All right, God loves you, so do I. I will see you back here next week for another new look.